Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Captain Frank Hawks and today we are going to be talking about difficulty levels. The reason why we're going to be talking about difficulty levels today is because I'm finding some games of today that have difficulty levels don't seem to understand what those difficulty levels are for. <clears throat> and I think it's because we live in a time when a game like Dark Souls, that is infuriating, never played it, but that's what I hear, um, is extremely popular. <sighs> that coffee is cold and will need to be refreshed. Yuck! Indeed. Indeed. Um, that, um, that, that's become the, the new bar. That's become... The, the new mindset is, let's make it as hard as is humanly possible. So first of all, before we continue along with this, we're going to save as this file. And this file will be called diff ya bitch. Okay? Bear this in mind. It's not something clever. It's just I'm tired, and I want to do something funny. So diff you bitch is right up here, okay? For those of you who know what I'm saying here. <clears throat> so let's, let's start with the basics. <clears throat> Easy. Now, for anybody else out there who knows what I'm talking about, who, who recognizes this term, you know, us fellow gamers, easy should be the lowest level of difficulty. And there should be... <sighs> excuse me. Vast differences between easy and the rest of the difficulties that we have. So, next... We have normal, which is about the laziest term ever devised, but is, is easy enough to immediately recognize that, you know, we're, we're actually here for the game, okay? Then there's hard, okay? Which, again, should be easily recognized by those of us who have played console games, who have played PC games, who have played uh, games with assholes on tabletop role-playing games. We're like, do you want it easy, normal, or hard, asshole? Yeah. Okay, so we've all been there. And then, of course, if you are a Doom fan, there is Nightmare... Okay. Okay. No, well, actually, no. Nope, nope. Before that, there is ultra violence. Yay. Neat. Cool. That'll work. And then there is nightmare. Okay. Th uh, these last two, which, which, which would have started with. I'm too young to die. Hurt me plenty. Um, I don't... Actually, I think this would have been hard. And Nightmare would have been the next one up. Um, but anyways. We're, we're going to replace this term with very hard. And... You... A, 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 A... Why did it skip that? That that was weird. And of course, let's fix the V. You lose if I spelled lose correctly because it yes, it is that time in the morning, ladies and gentlemen, when there is not enough caffeine in my goddamn system, so we'll find out. So, um easy. 
let's talk about easy. So easy is relatively straightforward. I'm going to redefine easy for you in, in a very simple, straightforward, no nonsense, pay attention sort of a way. Story mode. Easy, for those of you who are not aware, means that I am not here for your challenges. I'm not here for your achievements. I'm not here for any of that bullshit. Why you would think I am, I don't know. I'm here for the story. Okay? This is me and about a tenth. Of, of nine tenths of gamers. I'm not here for your bullshit. I'm just here for your story because your story has intrigued me. I don't want to get my face eaten off and there should be enough of a challenge to which the story is benefited, not just a walkthrough with no challenge at all whatsoever and there being just the story laid bare okay the the thing is is in story mode you get your baseline you present your least amount of enemies you present your least amount of difficulty okay normal is when people are actually interested in your game who actually want to play your game as you intended it okay but still are not ready for the levels of difficulty beyond. This is the initiate's circle. This is the, is the place where, where we begin the challenge. So I'm going to call this first circle. Okay. This, this is your first arena. This is your first level of real difficulty. This is where the challenges and the achievements and the findables and all that shit start to become of some importance. Okay? In, in easy, nobody cares about that bullshit. Why you would make it that way, I don't know. Most people are making easy normal these days. And that's not what your player base is after. Hard, I don't think requires any explanation. This is the second circle. We're here to, to up our game. We're here to be of greater challenge. And then there's very hard. Bring it on! Bring it on! And then there's, there's extremely hard. There's nightmare. There's you lose mode. Which is, oh my god, what have I done? Why did I bring a party? Where's my healer? Where's my mage? What have I done? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I just died. It was horrible. Let's do it again. Ah! Yes, punish me more. I deserve it. Ah! In other words... You awake to find yourself in a dark room. Excuse me, excuse me, I didn't do that correctly. Darren, you awake to find yourself in a dark room. <laughs> that was a shitty laugh, but whatever, I don't care. Ah. Okay, so right now we're going to focus on this. Okay, we're going to focus on this and the, the reason why is because there are certain criteria that is not being followed. So one, ah, not men and men and men. I mind you guys, I have, I have not had enough coffee in my system yet. So, you know, bear with me. I'm tired. Minimal challenge is number one. 
Minimal challenge meaning that there just has to be enough of a challenge to add flavor and texture to the story. Because without challenge, there is no story, no matter where the story lies. We're still here to play the game, but we're here to play the game in a condition for which we're almost ensured to survive, no matter what. Ah, small keyboard. However, the next thing that you should know is that this is this is not for the babies of the group. This is not for the whiners or the special ones or the people who expect everybody to get to get a ribbon, you know, for for participation, you know, just to make sure that they don't cry because they all got to be special people. Okay, that's that's not what we're saying here. We're saying these are the people who are more interested in your story than your difficulty. Okay? And honestly, I I I don't know if survive no matter what is is accurate. But that's what it feels like to me. Is you sh you should be able to walk through easy. You should be able to walk through easy and and get a feel and a taste for the game. But also and and here's here's an important thing. Don't hide things from your players because they choose to take the easy route. Okay, first of all, this might be the route that a person reviewing your game might take. Okay, so don't don't hide things from your players just because they're not willing to take the next step up. This might be okay. I'm training myself in preparation for the next level. And each level should be, in a measure, a training for the next level. So, let's add that as well. So, for instance, we, we have a game down here on my Steam account. Um... Ooh, that's not it. Uh, this, yeah, this is it. Deathwing, okay? Deathwing's easy is so hard that I reach a point where I can no longer play. Okay, because for, for what it is, Deathwing is slightly more difficult than Doom. Okay? Doom has inter intricacies, whereas... Deathwing is, let's throw as many enemies at you that do as much damage as is possible at you in one go, on easy, okay? And to a degree, that works. But at the same time, if I'm not able to progress to the next level, then I don't get to continue the story, and I eventually uninstall your game and asked for a refund. Okay, if Deathwing wasn't so fun, I would have already done that. Okay? So, uh, where is it? Doom. See, I've uninstalled it because it has started to bore me. Because whereas Doom, whereas Deathwing has masses of enemies that can kill you, in this game, we have a bunch of little different enemies that you have to know stratagem for, or they will kill you. And eventually, you reach a point, at least I do, you know, and, and I'm, I'm a guy who does not give a shit. These, these shoot 'em up games do not matter to me. Yes, I played Doom just like everybody else whenever I was a kid in high school. Does it matter to me? No, because Doom was nothing in comparison 
to sitting down and playing a game of Shadow Run with my friends. Doom was nothing in comparison to sitting down and playing a game of Palladium or Dungeons and Dragons with my friends. Doom did not compare because Doom's story is you are a tough guy who shoots things. Now, mind you, the more modern iteration does have more story, is more interesting and more intricate, but still is nothing in comparison to sitting down to a tabletop role-playing game with your friends, which brings me to a completely different subject. <clears throat> hey, Shadowrun Returns idiots, voice all your parts. When you don't voice all your parts, especially considering what time and day we currently live with and to live in and the shitty American education system, let alone the rest of the fucking world, except for Japan, because Japan has this amazing education system. Very few people fail as far as I'm aware. Um, I would like more information on that. If you have any more information on that, I would like you to point me in that direction. Otherwise, continue with the video. Anyways, Shadowrun Returns, this, this is a, in our day in time, basically digital representation of a tabletop role-playing game. Why the fuck isn't this shit voiced? This, this is my major problem with top-down role-playing games of any variety. Do you know what made the role-playing game interesting when we were doing it for real in the real world with dice and paper and pencil? People's voices, how we chose to voice things, how we chose to speak to each other as our character. And when that is not represented, it makes shit boring as fuck. Okay? Anyways, continuing. And so, I personally was never interested in playing Doom more than going in and sitting down and playing role-playing games with my friends. Because the difficulty level in a tabletop role-playing game is pertinent, A, to the level of your character, and B, to how difficult you're making things for the Game Master. <laughs> Excuse me. In a video game, the difficulty level is determined by a click. You click on something, and that is the difficulty level. Back to our model here. So, easy needs to be easy again. And each level is training for the next level. Don't hide things from your players because they choose to take an easier path. Survive no matter what. Survive with... Moderate, but yeah, I did spell that different. Okay, murder moderate. Yes. No, 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 no. So we, so it's straightforward with easy difficulty. Okay. Survive with easy difficulty. That's what easy should be. I'm taking a tour of your game. Make it fun and interactive and interesting, while at the same time it's not really being that much of a challenge. That's not what I'm here for. The second I click normal, you can stick that spiked black dildo square in my ass, okay? <laughs> that's, that's when you get to be hard on your player is, oh, you've actually come to really play the game. All right, let me put this steel toe boot on with the spikes on it. Yes, yes. Now, please bend over. No, 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 no. No lubricant. Okay, this is easy. This is what easy should look like. It's a minimal challenge mode. It's I'm just walking through the game for the sake to know your game. Maybe I'm doing this so that I have an easier time doing harder levels. Because Lord knows, some game developers don't balance between we're going to have a hundred enemies drop on your head, while at the same time is giving you important information that you, will, is that, that you will now not hear over your personal gunfire and the sounds of the enemies. 
Hello? Okay, there, there has to be proper spacing, but that is a different vi video, okay? That is a different video. Easy, non-Dark Souls. This, this, this is the, um, what, what would be a good equivalent? This is the training wheels to the full-on game, okay? This is where we get the, the most education. So, yes, it, well, no, we already have training for the next level. We, we get education. We get to prepare. We get to explore your story without any real difficulty on ourselves. The challenge is minimized, and that is how easy should be. Easy should be as it sounds. It should be easy within respect for the material. So, like, let's go back to Deathwing. So, uh, but about Deathwing here is incredibly difficult on Disciple, which is their version of easy. It does not matter what you call it. If it's easy, it should be fucking easy. Okay? And when it, if, I, if I pulled it up, which I'm not going to do because that's not what I'm interested in playing today. If I pulled it up and started a new game and selected a Disciple, you would notice that there are no injuries, no scracks, no scratches, no cracks, no bullet holes, no injuries at all whatsoever on that skull. And the reason why is because that's how difficult it should be. Okay? Within proper balances and guidelines. And another thing, Deathwing guys, you have a review coming up. You had better prepare yourselves. Because I've got some mean, nasty, stupid fucking things to say to you. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Don't save because I don't really care. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope we've covered the base of what easy should be. And everything pretty much stacks up from there. If your game mechanics are proper and, and are put together the right way, easy should be relatively easy. Okay? It should not be hard on your player. It should be easy on your player so your player has an opportunity to go and enjoy something. Whereas <clears throat> um, hard should be twice the difficulty level of easy. Okay? It should be that much of a jump. Oh, you're ready to play the game, are you? Good boy. Good boy. Step into my arena and prepare yourself for death. Yes. But it should not be Dark Souls a la the Dark Room levels of difficult on easy. Okay? That's that's not how it works. May, when, it, when your player clicks easy, they're like, I'm not here to work. I'm here to have fun. That's That's another thing I should have put down is is easy is the fun level. This I, I'm going here to have fun. I don't really care about how difficult it can get. I don't really care about the level of challenge. <clears throat> I am here to have fun. The second you click normal, it should be, okay, I'm here for fun and challenge. Bring it on. Next level up from that, twice as hard. I'm here to prove that I am the best of the best. Oh wait, shit, what is that? Run! Okay, so I, I need you game developers to start putting these things into perspective. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fr from this point forward, we're gonna be talking about specific mechanics. And the reason why is because I spent 20 years of my life just dicking around making tabletop role-playing games for fun, for shits and giggles. And so we're, we're going to start talking about mechanics in as far as oh, excuse me, other games are concerned. And uh, the very first of those videos will be Deathwing. And you might notice that I'm a little late to the game as far as my Deathwing review. But there are a few specific things that I like. I, I like to, to try to get as close to have finished the game as possible before I attempt to review a game. I want to know how I feel about the game.
before I really put my opinion out there. I'm not going to give it a five minute go and be like, oh, this game is total bullshit. You should totally not buy it unless they sponsor me. I'm not that kind of a person, okay? And, and so, yeah, I'm going to be late to the game with a lot of these games. And on top of that, I don't make any money off of my YouTube at all whatsoever. I make no money at all whatsoever off of my YouTube. I've thought about starting a Patreon, but honestly, I don't have enough subscribers. So, <clears throat> here's how it is. Let's all try to have fun, guys. Okay? For those of you who have an opinion and are willing to share it, but in a respect respectful way, as opposed to being a giant D-bag, you're more than welcome to share your opinions. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, have fun, be safe, take care of each other. I'm Captain Frank Hawks, signing off.